something. Yeah, they're wire wrapped. They're big. Yeah. The name tag. Oh, he looked like the guy from the show. Just off your motion. Yeah. So I'll just put my. Hey, everybody, thank you very much for doing this. We really appreciate it. This is Jane wow. Kazmarek, everyone. Yeah. We're very excited about this. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we appreciate all your cooperation and help. And some of you I've worked with before, Wayne and some others, and uh, really, really glad to be here. Um, thank you. And uh, we're going to just pop this off and then uh, get out of your hair. We were joking around and uh, on the set of uh, Breaking Bad a couple of years ago or something, and I was talking to some of the producers. I said, you know what we should do? I said, uh, the ending should be, you know, where there's this nightmare and he wakes up, a la Newhart, and uh, all of a sudden he wakes up his wife and we think Skyler's going to turn over and, and it's Jane Kaczmarek. <laughs> Uh, hey, Jason. About a year ago, Melissa Bernstein, one of our executive producers, says, "You know that thing that we you were you brought up a, a while ago. Sony really likes that idea. Vince Gilligan really likes that idea. Do you think Jane would do it?" And I said, "Well, it, if it takes place in a bed where she stays horizontal, she, it, we've got a great chance." Alternate ending. Take one. And. Action. Wake up, honey, honey, wake up, wake up, wake up. I love a criminal. What is that? What's the matter? Oh, I just had the scariest dream. All throughout Malcolm, I was always pregnant. Pregnant, um, yeah. Having a, you know, and so whenever we had scenes where Hal and Lois had to be in bed, they were my favorite scenes. No, you don't understand. I was, I was this, oh, I was this meth dealer. It was written by uh, one of our uh, writing assistants, Gordon, and, uh, and did a terrific job with it. I went and I watched the end of New Heart, and I watched, you know, went back and like watched some uh, Malcolm in the Middle and see where we'd left those two characters. Our script coordinator and writer's PA, Jen Carroll, and I sort of sat down and just like brainstormed and sort of figured out what we could do in terms of the beats of the, the scene. I was this world-class <laughs> chemist, and I, I cooked and I sold this ultra-pure methane and ephedrine. <laughs> You cooking anything? It was March of 06 that we last played those roles. That's so six little six, over six little years. over six years, six and a half years. And to get back in this frame of mind and back in the familiar positions. Well, I first contacted it's my easy. acting coach. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> no, in fact, we got here and Brian was like, here's the script. And I thought, oh, I haven't seen this before. I thought, well, nothing new there. And Malcolm. <laughs> she did that all the time. <laughs> You have Jane Kaczmarek and you have Brian Cranston and you're seeing them together again after six, seven years uh, away. You kind of don't need too much, you know? You don't need to put a hat on a hat. And then there was this other little guy who was a, a waif, a man-child. used to be word and he would say, Yo, B-word! And, and, uh, honey, yay, honey, science, B-words! There was a moment where, where she says, uh, you know, in passing, good night, Scarface. <laughs> Good night, Scarface. <laughs> and that sort of triggers him to slip into that, you know, that, you know, walk that line of what character am I? Oh. Scarface. Oh, God, Walt would do anything in the world if he had Hal's life. Hmm. If, he, if he could go to something so comparingly simple. Gosh, he would love that. At the beginning of, of Breaking Bad, when Walt starts becoming the Walt that we know, he has sort of a similar moment where, like, he is sort of impotent in the beginning of the pilot. What is going on down there? Yes. Is he asleep? And then at the end of the pilot, after he started, he's done these terrible things, he's killed people. Description at the end of the pilot, he's like a redwood or something like that. If Hal got that idea, I don't think Lois would have anything to do with it. I'm the one who's knocking. Just stop poking me with that thing. I think people will enjoy it. They'll enjoy not just the Breaking Bad of it, but the Malcolm of it. So I, I hope that it, it functions as kind of the best of both worlds. That was great. Thank you so much. That was so